It is a great day today. I decided that it was just too pretty to not be outside and enjoy God's creation. And so, even though I don't have a lot of time today, um, I decided I was taking time for me and <clears throat> spent a little time with Papa and his creation. This is my most favorite thing to do, and I I don't know why. I guess I've let um, I've let life kind of <clears throat> take the reins a little bit, and I've not done this as much lately. And man, <laughs> I have missed it. <laughs> um, it's very peaceful. There's no one out here that I'm aware of, but me. I think there is one other hiker, but I don't know where they are on the trail. Um, it's overcast. The temperature's like 73. I mean, you couldn't ask for a more beautiful weather day. And I came out here with the grandkids yesterday, <clears throat> which I don't know when I'm going to post this. So yesterday would have been uh, April the 26th. And uh, we had a blast. It was good. We went um, to the rocky side. Well, it's rocky over here too, as you can see. But what's called Penitentiary Hollow, where there's a lot of rock climbing that goes on and some really cool trails. Kids had a blast. It was fun. <clears throat> I let um, Kennedy use my camera and take some pictures, and man, she's she's got an eye. I think uh, she's going to be good at that, should she decide to keep doing it. There seems to be an interest. Anyway, um, just wanted to tell you that I'm choosing joy today. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but my shirt says, choose joy. <laughs> so that's my message today is choose joy. Do not let circumstances in your life, uh, other people, um, worry, anxiety, fear. Do not let the enemy steal your joy. Do not. Jesus is our joy, and if he can take great joy in knowing we were going to be his if he went to the cross, as horrific as that was, then I think we can take joy too. <laughs> because Jesus says that we can do all things through him. And he says with, with him, nothing is impossible. So he wouldn't tell us to take joy or be joyful if he didn't know that we could do it. So, <clears throat> count it all joy. <laughs> My brethren, when you experience various trials, it's like, it doesn't matter who you are or there are, whether you know Jesus or you don't, you're going to have trials. The thing is, if you have Jesus, then you have someone beside you to help you get through them. <clears throat> and you have someone to encourage you, and you have someone to uh, tell you that you're going to be okay, and, and tell you that, yes, you can do it, your cheerleader, your coach, um, and even more. He gives you creative ideas and how to get out of uh, sticky situations or uh, circumstances that you've even put yourself in. It's like, he is a rescuer. He is our provider. He, he is our everything. And so, I don't know what you may be going through today, but I'm here to tell you that Jesus is more than enough. He's not going to make your problems go away, but he's certainly going to help you get through them. And <clears throat> I would much rather go through something. If I know I'm going to go through something, I'd rather go through it with him knowing that he will get me through to the other side because he loves me that much. He loves you that much. He's going to make sure that you're okay. So have a great day and remember, choose joy. Have a good one. Bye.